I'm Rhiannon from Barbecue Spit Rotisseries, and today I'm going to show you how to cook up this massive 8 kilo brisket all on a Flaming Coals gravity feed smoker. So the first step to preparing the brisket is to trim off all of this hard fat that you see here. So get yourself a sharp knife and start trimming. Now with a brisket, there's two distinct muscles. You've got what's called the point and you've got what's called the flat. Now today we are going to be cooking this brisket fully intact, but if you wanted to at home, you could separate this top muscle and make burnt ends or something like that out of it and then keep the rest of the flat to make nice thin slices. Okay, so we've trimmed up the top. It's now time to flip it over and repeat the process on the other side. Now that both sides of the brisket have been trimmed, it's time to apply the rub. Today we're using two of my favourite brisket rubs, Cosmos Q Prime Steak Rub and Flaming Coals Bovine Espresso. Let's start with a base layer of the Cosmos Q Prime Steak Rub. Pat the rub in and then we'll apply our top layer of Flaming Coals Bovine Espresso. Now it's really important to cover all the surface area of the brisket because the intention is to cook this for 10 hours. So if any part of the meat is left uncovered by the rub, and it's likely to burn. Once one side's done, it's time to flip it over. The brisket's all rubbed up. We're going to let it sit for about an hour before we pop it inside the gravity feed smoker. So we've brought our Flaming Coals Gravity Feed Smoker up to temperature. Our temperature we're cooking at today is 225 degrees Fahrenheit. We've also connected a Flaming Coals Tempmaster Pro, which we've dialed in at 225, and that's gonna help us maintain that consistent temperature throughout the 10 hour cook. We've used Flaming Coals Lump Charcoal in our chute, and we've scattered cherry wood throughout the chute to give us that nice cherry wood flavor. Now it's really important to keep your meat nice and moist during the smoking process. I like to spritz with apple juice about once every hour. We've had our meat cooking in the gravity feed smoker for just over five hours, so I'm tipping it's going to be time for wrapping. But now I'm going to use an instant read thermometer just to double check the internal temperature of the meat. So the meat's probing at an internal temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's time to wrap. Now the meat is going to be absolutely piping hot, so it's really important that you put on some inner gloves before you put on your protective food handling gloves. The brisket's out of the smoker. We're going to wrap it in paper, but firstly, we're just gonna add a small amount of the Cosmos Q brisket mop for extra flavor. So the meat's all wrapped up. It's popped back inside the smoker, and I'm gonna pop the temperature up to about 250 degrees Fahrenheit, just to get this moving along a bit quicker. When testing for doneness, my preferred method is to use an instant read thermometer, put it into the meat and make sure there's no resistance. Now, some people may tell you to aim for a certain temperature, uh, which can be helpful as a guide, but the real way to know whether it's done is you should be able to insert it and there'd be zero resistance. So as you can see, there's no resistance. So it's time to take the meat out of the smoker and pop it in a hot box to rest. So our brisket's been resting in the hot box for an hour. Let's have a peek inside. Let's see how we went. Huh. Very good. 